Although planets surround stars in the galaxy, how they're formed remains a subject of debate. Despite the wealth of worlds in our solar system, scientists still uncertain how planets are built. Currently, there are two theories. The first and most widely accepted theory, core accretion, works well with the formation of terrestrial planets like Earth but has a problem with giant planets. The second, the disk instability method, may account for the creation of these giant planets. Scientists are continuing to study planets in and out of the solar system in an effort to better understand which of these methods is most accurate. The Earth's history has seen a number of mass extinctions, but the most well-known happened 65 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period, with the death of around 70% of all species. The most common theory for the demise of the dinosaurs is that a large asteroid struck in Mexico, forming a 240 km wide crater. Those dismissing the theory claim that the smaller reptiles like turtles, alligators and crocodiles would also have been harmed. Others suggest that a freshwater aquatic lifestyle reduced the threat. There are also arguments that the crater wasn't large enough to have caused such devastation. Either way, the crater-like shape of the area, the layer rich in iridium and the age of the rocks all lend weight to this theory. For many years, claims were made by creationists that human footprints or giant man tracks occur alongside fossilised dinosaur tracks in the limestone beds of the Paloxy River. If true, such a finding would dramatically contradict the conventional geological timetable, which holds that humans did not appear on Earth until over 60 million years after the dinosaurs became extinct. However, the man track claims have not stood up to close scientific scrutiny, and in recent years have been abandoned. The supposed human tracks have involved a variety of phenomena, including metatarsal dinosaur tracks, erosional features and carvings. The largest number of man tracks are a form of elongate metatarsal dinosaur tracks, made by bipedal dinosaurs that sometimes impressed their heels and sole as they walked. When the digit impressions of such tracks are subdued by mud backflow or secondary infilling, a somewhat human shape often occurs. Other alleged man tracks include purely erosional features, indistinct marks of uncertain origin, and a smaller number of carved tracks. A few individuals continue to promote the man tracks or alleged human tracks, but such claims are not considered credible by mainstream scientists. Creationists will argue that these impressions were left by humans, and state that mainstream science is trying to cover them up, while mainstream scientists say that when they are examined thoroughly and carefully, the tracks not only provide no positive evidence for young Earth creationism, but are found to be among other lines of geological evidence, which indicate that the Earth has a long and complex history. But what do you think? Did dinosaurs and humans once coexist? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more countdown videos.